you ready for a great show? Ladies and put your hands together for your host, Amanda Frick! So I thought I would dress like a picnic basket. Thank you, thank you. I'm Greek, so our Easter is a week behind. Any Greeks in the house? Yes! You'll be loud enough for everybody. Let's do it. And then we sit here and prove our Greekness for a few minutes. Like, what's the percentage? Do you speak it? Do you read it? Do you have food trauma? We'll move on. <laughs> The last Greek Easter I went to, they had the lamb on the spigot, and my sister was like six or seven, and she just walks out and goes, whose dog is that? <laughs> I said, that's lamb, but Chinese does sound good later. Thank you very much for bringing that up. Oh, come on. Um, I'm just kidding. He has risen, though, so you're all going to hell. Um, thank you very much. Speaking of uh, going to hell, let's do some house rules, shall we? Um, yes! I have to pee already! <laughs> if you need to use the restroom or desperately get away from your date, it is out and to the right. Thank you very much. And if you really need to get away, the exit is out and to the left. Capiche? <laughs> if I could please draw your attention to the caddy shack, I do have these fun little raffle forms. At the very end of the show, we will be giving away prizes. Go ahead and fill it out now. I'm just going to be talking about myself for the next five minutes. <laughs> we already know she's Greek. Most interesting thing out of the way. At the bottom, we do have the first time funnies. If you like what you see and you want to be a comedian yourself, go ahead and circle that. We've got classes, we've got shows, we've got hecklers, the whole nine yards. Also, on your little caddy shack over here, we have a light. I call it the bat signal. Turn that on and the wait staff will show up with food and drinks and sometimes it might even be the thing that you ordered. <laughs> Speaking of the wait staff, can we give them a round of applause, please? listen to us bitch about our lives for hours on end. Oh my gosh, you guys. Speaking of uh, bitching about our lives, any transplants here? Any transplants? Yeah? Where are you from? Minnesota? And you were just like not really that excited to move out here. <laughs> if you are, do we have, uh, do we have a lot of Californians in here? Yeah! I love when people are super hype, like, yeah, I'm a transplant! I'm like, if Ohio was so great, you'd still be there. Like, you know? You just, yeah, like, you love it so much. Get off my 101, you know what I mean? Oh, God bless you guys. Um, I'm from California, specifically Sacramento. I know you guys tuned out. That's fine. You know, up north, where the water's from, it's fine. <laughs> the capital city, you know where the governor lives? <laughs> Nobody cares. Um, the state is the exact opposite of a cupcake. Nobody gives a fuck about the top half. <laughs> Fine, I'm used to it. Um, a lot of my friends are transplants, and they expected all of California to be hyper-liberal. What do they call it? The lands of fruits and nuts. And, uh, I mean, honestly, like, really the only liberal parts are San Francisco and Los Angeles, or as I call it, the nipples of the state. <laughs> because they're very small, and they're very sensitive. And they're the only two parts that anyone seems to give a fuck about, okay? Um, any Midwesterners in here besides Minnesota? Any yeah. Midwesterners? Yes! You guys have Greek and Midwest? We'll dissect this later. <laughs> Not Chicago, right? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god! Well, Christos Anesti, you know. Thank you, I had to prove my Greekness for the back. Uh, Midwesterners, you guys have this really crazy thing that I'm trying to wrap my head around. Basement culture. What? What is that? Oh, I love it. It's like, we're gonna go drinking, but it's downstairs where God can't see us. Like, what? What is that? We, we don't have basements in California. I've never just, like, had the urge to, like, dig a hole under my living room, you know? Ah, I'm, I'm from the Bay Area. Like, if I hear that somebody has a basement, I've heard it from the news, okay? Wow, he had a baby. He put how many down there? And he even finished the flooring. Good for him. The carpet thing. It's like, oh, yours is carpeted? Wow. 
that's like a status thing, you know what I mean? My aunt had a basement in her house, that's because she lived in Oakland and it used to be a trap house. <laughs> and by basement, I mean hole that they dug to store, I don't know, drugs, people, you name it. And so my idea of a basement was like something you kind of had to crawl into. So my boyfriend is from uh, Milwaukee, Woo! and um, he was like, we're going to sleep in the basement. And I was like, is your mom mad at us? I'm like, we're going to sleep in the basement. And he's like, yeah, my brother's been spending a lot of time in the basement. And I'm like, oh, maybe he wants to die. And then I went down there, and there's like internet and like a television and a bathroom. And I'm like, maybe he wants to feel alive. I don't, dude, basements are sick. <laughs> I live um, on the second floor, so I've just convinced myself that my downstairs neighbor is living in my basement. <laughs> so, California's been pretty great. <laughs> um, I just turned 29. Thank you. Yeah, now that we're like, how does she feel about it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone's pretty excited except my agent, but it's cool. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to be 29 for the rest of my life, so <laughs> very exciting. Thank you. You know when you get older, every year you do like a software update, right? You like, <laughs> you like download new things and get new features. I got, um, I got this really cool feature right here. Anyone have that? Anyone have that? You know when you were younger and then you'd sit down and your thighs would do that thing? Now they just do that when I'm standing up, you know? <laughs> it's been great. Now I like it. That's why I do like flashy pants. It's an illusion of the pants. You can't see it. Um, I, I fondly call it my hip and dip and dots. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Did I earn them eating ice cream? Who's to say? You're not my mom. Um, you might be. Um, <laughs> uh, I, so I, I got this and I was like, all right, I'm gonna start watching the History Channel because I'm old now. <laughs> I gotta figure out which weird war I'm gonna hyper fixate on. <laughs> I was like, I know so much about World War II, but what about the prequel, you know? <laughs> Did you know there's guns with knives on the front of it? It's called the bayonet. Anyway, and so I'm watching the History Channel, and um, there is an interview with the high priest of a cannibal tribe. <laughs> And I'm like, maybe this is my thing. <laughs> maybe I just, my old woman hyperfixation is Papua New Guinea. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he said that his favorite kind of people to eat were people that used to be really, really in shape. But then have kind of let themselves go a little bit. <laughs> I know he wasn't saying this to boost my confidence, but holy shit, you guys. I was like, have I been delicious this whole time? I was like learning TikTok dances, like, yes, queen! <laughs> oh, all of these milkshakes and no yard to put them in. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys are you ready for your next comic <laughs> he is in the back of the room and he is running lights and sound and he is my wonderful phenomenal co-host make it loud make it loud for ray lau Woo!